What's up guys, Dwight Cheers here. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect the Microsoft SQL Server to your Android application and log in a user whose data is on the SQL Server database. The SQL Server database can be on a local machine or can be online. I will try to show you the both scenarios for the SQL Server connectivity. Okay then, let's go. I have already created the project today. I will just explain it now how I created it. Besides from everything, I have first created a main activity containing the login form. Let me show you its external file. On the top of the display, I have created a progress bar followed by an image view, two edit textures and a button in a relative layout. It's just a simple layout. Now I have created a connection class java file which has code to connect this application to SQL Server database. Let me show you. Firstly, I have imported these three SQL namespaces you must have to import it. Inside the public class named connection class takes five string as shown. So the IP address string equals to your server's IP address. Keep the classes string the same as given. The database string would be your database name. The username string would be your database username and the password string would be your database password. Keep all the codes below the same. Now coming to the main activity java file, keep all the code written the same. Here in this project, the main focus is on the connection class file. And if you are using a local SQL database, just give your IP addresses and keep both the Android mobile and your PC in the same network. That's all for today. See you guys in the next one. So you must be thinking how to know your local SQL server's IP address. Please follow the following steps. 